before I say anything else in this video, this video is going to be a series, a three-part series, and this video, if you watch all the three series, it could somewhat change your life. But there's a whole bigger picture to this app. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I would like to do it soon. But it will literally change your life forever if you watch everything. So I do recommend you watch this video from beginning to end. You can watch it in parts. It's going to be like 10 minutes, but still, you could, or a little longer. But still, you could watch it in parts. Gonna make sure it's going on. And then for this one to be one, two, and three, and a fourth one to kind of summarize all the other three. So, now the title, the, men, the mental complexity is right. It's kind of like, it's just like a way, like a thought process, like a way of thought. It's like completely a way of thought. There's three levels. There's one, two, and three. And this level, I'm gonna highlight one, which is a socialized mind. And before I highlight that, I wanted to say, I appreciate all the support. I'm gonna make it quick as I might be taking like three minutes or whatever. I appreciate every single bit of support. Thank you guys for be running up the views, the watch time, the subs, everything. I appreciate it. Now, back to today's video. There is a book that goes to this. It's called Immunity to Change by Robert Keegan and Lisa. I can't remember the last name. Laskarov, I think. I'm gonna get that book on Saturday. Maybe I think that's when I might like do like the fourth part to this. But for now, it's kind of just gonna go off like from what I could remember, which I do remember a lot of it, but. Let's, let's go off with this, right? The level one, the socialized mind, basically a summary, because it's in the book, but I don't have it. But the summary of it is basically your entire thought process is formed around other things, like whatever society teaches you, right? For example, TikTok might think this is a cool trend or that's a cool trend or whatever, right? But your ideas and ideologies are completely formed from things around you. And everyone starts off at this, no matter what. As soon as, like, when you're born and when you're, like, becoming older, your ideas are completely formulated around things around you. So from when, let's say you're five years old, right, and you see your older brother do something dumb and he gets hit by your parents, then you realize not to do that, right? Your parents tell you, oh, you need to, let's say, pray at 8 o'clock at night every single day. They throw the religion part aside from it. The point is, is that you're told to do one thing and you believe in that, right? College. College is another huge one. From literally elementary school and up, college is told all the time, you need college. It's kind of almost purported to the point that if you don't do college, you're kind of screwed. That's how like purported it is, right? And that is a different thing of program. And you stop saying right. I hate saying that. That's like a different, that's programming, put it, like being put into you. And that's basically, like I said, what the socialized mind is, is that let's, okay, let's say this example. I'm going to probably repeat again in the fourth one. There is a, a kid, right? Timmy, for example, whatever. So a little, uh, like a white kid. Actually, sure, he could be like maybe 18, uh, younger, whatever, right? I said right again. But Timmy, he's told to not curse, read the Bible at 8 o'clock, pray right after. He's told to wear this, not to do that, have good grades, all that type of stuff. Notice how literally everything I said, he said he is told. Again, the socialized mind, you absorb everything around you. So when someone else tells them maybe, oh, you shouldn't do this, you should do it like this. And let's say he adopts that, let's say like his haircut he has a fucking bowl cut or something, right? And he gets told that the haircut's ass, so he decides to get a comb over. Again, that is a decision. We gotta make sure this is going. Decision from someone else, and that influenced the decision that he made to cut his bowl cut to get a comb over. Also, might I add too that this is um the fourth part is gonna be on the allegory of the cave. Because this is basically the allegory of the cave, but I don't have the picture up right now. That's gonna be the fourth part. Also. I'm having an analogy throughout this video. I'm also going to have that Timmy one too. I'm also going to have an analogy throughout this video. Well, throughout the series. And to be a car analogy. And I think if you don't understand this at all, if you could at least understand this part, you'll be set. Imagine a car, a four-seater car. Driver and three passengers, right? Oh, whatever. But when you're in level one, you sit in any of the three passenger seats. It does not matter if you're by the driver or you're the two in the back. The point is, you're getting driven somewhere. You get what I mean? The destination, you're just getting driven no matter what. You don't care, you just hop in the car, 
and you get taken to different places, whatever, whatever destination it is, or if there even is a destination, you just get taken to whatever you hop in. Because, I mean, ultimately, think about it. If you hop in a car, whoever's driving has a decision of where to go. You could say, oh, let's go X, let's go Y. And they decide to go wherever they want because, I mean, they're the driver, ultimately. But that's, I mean, there's, of course, there's, like, oh, the driver's an asshole, whatever. But the point is, is that you hop in and you don't know where to go. You just hop in and you're, uh, you just like to get taken anywhere. Also, it goes even deeper in this because I talk about the distractions. At the time of uploading this, I posted a short about distractions. And things with distractions, eventually you have, you absorb some of what they're what they're telling you it does not matter what it is for example i know all y'all be seeing andrew tate tiktok so let's keep it up being come on or kaisen or bruce if they still post them i know all that shit or aiden if they still post aiden your age i know there's a dg and so Illuminati beef i haven't been looking at that that much but let's take tate because I, because tate is kind of more how do i say because those like kai and bruce and all of them are kind of entertainment Tate is more like in like life, life shit, whether you like him or not, just throw that apart. He tells you, you need to get big and strong and become smart, right? That still, even if it's good or bad, good or bad, which is, that's obviously good because you need to be, you know, what's wrong becoming in peak physical condition, becoming smart. It's not bad. It's that you are learning it from something else. And when you get on to like level two and level three, Level three is, I, I, I don't want to split, I don't want to split, never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's go back, let's go back to level one. So you just take in, you don't fucking think about it. Okay, sure, and you become strong and smart. And then you look at another post and then some fucking dude cooking, telling you, oh, you need to do this or like, not even cooking, let's say, oh, you need to wear this because it's going to be the new trending style and all that other stuff is trash. And you take in that, maybe you, maybe you might want to, eh, screw that. We've seen another one. Oh, yo, this clothes are fire. This guy said it's fire. It has all the X, Y, Z. The people at school would think it's cool. Oh, big one. Speaking of that, that's perfect. What am I thinking? Perfect. The people, what they think in your school is the greatest example of level one. Like I said, with, uh, with Timmy and his comb over, the people at school thought his bowl cut was trash. So he adjusted his hair to those people at the school. Perfect example. Because... Even now, no matter how old you are, you could be level one does not have an age. You could die at eight years old and be on level one. Level one has no age at all. None of these have an age. Really, none of these have an age. Except maybe three might be at a certain age because, like I said, you start off at one no matter what. You can't come out the womb and boom, you'll be at three. But one. So one has no age. And it's kind of the like the people pleasers that someone tells you to do X, but that person was a kind of a peep that that person was taught by a people pleaser and that people pleaser was taught by another people pleaser and it's being purported onto you. And another thing too, that you realize, let's say your your family has a generation of like, of being poor. Your grandparents are poor, your parents are poor. Guess who's next? You. Are you going to be poor? Are you going to break that cycle? Because it's obviously something you don't know. Like for me and my YouTube channel, I can study all I want, but I don't have a million subscribers. So it's something I don't know. But let's go back to the school thing again, because like like the clothing thing I said on TikTok is a perfect example. When those fat ass red boots came out, I didn't say anyone at school wearing them, but a lot like a lot of people were wearing that big artist and all that. And I guarantee there's someone out there who bought those fat red shoes. You know, it was a while back. You know what I'm talking about? Them fat red shoes. And let's look at another thing too. Schoolwork and all that. Oh, you're not supposed to. You like I said, you're supposed to go to college. You're not supposed. You're not supposed to do this. You have to go to the bathroom. You gotta go back to them every day in my period, X, Y, Z. And I'm not saying to not follow those rules because of course there's rules to follow. Even if you're level three, you have rules to follow. But the thing is, there are some rules that <laughs> they don't need to be followed. Like you go to the bathroom once every three, two hours. It's kind of like a school thing. Or even maybe, maybe your job, maybe your job is strict like that. But of course, like maybe those rules, if you don't want to get fired, you need to follow those rules. And also kind of purports to another thing that you have to, in like is this what you want to do but that's kind of more of a level three type thing let me share it's still recording right okay yeah still recording gotta make sure but back again with level one the entirety of level one is that your entire society is formed 
by what well, your tired of thinking is formed by society. And let's be honest, that's legitimately, that's probably most people. If I were to, I mean, obviously I can't really guess, but let, let me put it in a, in a kind of a numbers thing so you could maybe understand it better. I would say like 40, 50. Oh, well, it depends on the age. If you're a teenager, it's like 90, 95, 90% of teenagers are like that. But if I were doing overall 40, maybe 40%, 45. No, actually, no, 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 no. 55, 55. Because I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of adults, your parents, you get, if you even question them, why do you think that? Oh, I was told by X to do that, which is, again, level one of social, which is a socialized mind. It's kind of a little intro to it. I'm going to go back to it on the fourth one and maybe even two and three. But for sure, I need to get some stuff done. I need to get the book. I'll be getting the book on Saturday. So I'll probably upload two and three this week. I mean, one and two this week. And then we'll go into three next week. And the allegory, like the full thing, I don't know when that's going to come out. Because that's going to be a pretty long video, man. So if y'all made it this far, I hope you enjoyed. And hope you understood. Just remember the car analogy that you get taken anywhere. You just hop past your seat and you just go anywhere. Because the person driving is taking you, uh, and okay, I'm overcomplicating it. Just that you're getting taken anywhere. All right, just leave it at that. But thanks for the support again. Always, I love the subscribers, the likes, even the stupid ass comments, whatever. I appreciate everything. Y'all stay blessed. We got higher mountains to climb. Peace.